Hi, this is Suze Leventero. Um, I'm going to do, cus I was doing cusping energy readings. Okay, so, um, and it doesn't have to be cusping. It could be like you and your partner are these signs. It could be your sun sign with rising or moon sign. At any rate, what I'm doing is the energies of Capricorn and Sagittarius. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm getting a lot here. Okay, so many things here. I, I'm just going to have to pick two or something like that. Okay. All right, now. What's this? Wow. Okay. So that's like the two heads. This could be duality. Okay, so this could be the war stuff too. Okay, so let's start here. Okay, now, getting a lot of political stuff here. Okay. All right, now. Okay, so R.V. Wade is coming up here. Okay, for some people. So maybe that's been on your mind, right? Okay, so there were some surprising things that um, were revealed, and then it, it caused uh, maybe a revisiting of energies in the past, right? Okay, now. Okay. All right, so if there's question about judgment, right? There's a question here about judgment, and that could be part of what the Libra, this could be Libra or Gemini, right? Twin flame energy or Libra. Okay. Gemini, right? It could be lovers. Gemini it could be the twin flame. It could be Libra energy. Okay. Now. Or it could be the two energies of Capricorn and Sagittarius, which... That's what we're doing. Okay, so with that said, what I feel like is there's been judgment on both sides. And it kind of has not wanting to come together energy. Let's flip that. This is like uh, coming together energy. So let's leave that there flipped. Okay, let's flip that. Okay, now I feel like the message here is we want to move forward and not backwards okay it's like what is that let's don't fix what's not broken and keep moving forward and reaching for the new with this uranus energy okay so that's what it's calling for okay all right so Now, what this is, is if you're looking at judgment, right, on one side of the coin, uh, there were in the past people who crossed over because there weren't facilities that they could go to. Uh, and so there are lots of uh, young women who crossed over because of that. Okay, so, and that was the reason why there was a movement to have safe centers or a safe ha haven for um, managing this kind of um, birthing into the physical world thing, right? And I don't know if people are aware of this, but they're saying that um, carrying a child um, uh, 
Okay, let's not go there. But anyway, at any rate, uh, spirit is not judging on either way. So I feel like that will bring some ease. Okay, so it's, spirit isn't saying what's right or wrong. Okay, so spirit doesn't move in duality. Okay, so... But there is showing me here on um, that before there was uh, that, that there was uh, great suffering. Okay, so that might be something to consider. But I'm not going to influence it any other way, but to say that spirit is not judging one way or the other. Okay. All right. It's a subtle energy, a loving energy. And... Uh, humans may do that, but not, not this pure source energy. Okay. All right. That's what I'm getting. All right. Now let's move on. Okay. So that could have you in the feeling in the dark, right? And needing to feel safe. Um, you know, it's like, they're giving me a phrase. Why, why should men even be in the picture to, Make those kinds of decisions. Okay, so that's coming in. That was somebody's thought. Okay, that floated in. Okay. Yeah, okay. So there's that too, right? Okay. So. And that might have some people feeling like their world is turned upside down. Okay, now. But the good news is. This, to me, is like high-vibing energy, right? Okay, so um, the key is to feel good now and know that everything is going to turn out. And if you feel like you need to uh, take action in activism or whatever, then do so if it helps you to feel better. But um, oftentimes it's better to kind of sit at home in your energy and move the feeling first and then go do any kind of action steps. Okay. Now, now for some of you, this is like focusing on the war stuff. Okay. And seeing duality. Okay. The goods and the bads, right? Okay. Now this could be sister or family member or lover. It could be any kind of that, fiery uh, energy connection okay now I feel like you've been peering into their energy okay and some of you want to get out and travel the world but haven't voiced anything yet okay I'm getting kind of this energy that feels like left out out in the cold kind of energy, right? Feeling, it's like, it's like feeling comfortable at home, right? And then shaking up that comfort somehow and then ending up in this energy. Okay, so with that said, you want to see what patterns have you been practicing in thought and see if you can move that because I feel like that is a lot of people don't want to hear stuff like that but I feel like that's what is causing that feeling like it's not stable energy okay like like the shoe could drop that kind of energy right okay so that could be like training yourself to look in not so positive places so that you're not disappointed. So if you're doing that, uh, the suggestion here is to look in those good feeling places, right? Okay. Okay, so for example, let's say this elephant symbolized happiness and everything else in this segment in time or this framework uh, seem like there's nothing wonderful about it except that one thing. And you were looking at, this is for someone, if 
feel like it's a masculine, but looking at all the things instead of training yourself at look at that one thing that symbolize happiness. Okay, so see if you can switch that up. Okay. This could symbolize like having a sweet home, a nice, comfort, cozy, comfortable, cozy place, but um, feeling even with a person that kind of longing or lonely feeling. All right, so let's see. This is a love relationship, I feel like. Okay, could be family though. All right, so whatever, this is like flipping. So if it was Aries or fiery energy, I feel like it's going to stabilize. Okay. Lady who waits. Okay, so that may be you, right? Okay, so some of you are waiting for marriage. Okay. It's like some people are here in the 30s or something. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Oh, I, I don't know why I said interesting there. Okay, but it was because um, recently I found out that my group was the Y generation. So I think that goes to 35, but I'm not sure how accurate that is <laughs> because that's not what I'm getting. But I got 100% women and the Y generation. So I'm like, hmm, interesting. <laughs> but um, okay, because I mean, in my readings, I'm getting different ages and all kinds of things. It's like ageless, right? The readings. So all right. So anyway, all right. So the lady who waits. So this could be you. Okay. Or this could be you waiting for that perfect person. Okay. So uh, take a look at that, right? Okay. Because preference isn't the same thing as um, love. Okay. Yeah, see, ideal. I feel like you have like a hundred boxes that they have to check off. That's what I'm getting. And if they don't check off all of them, then you you're you don't invest in it. Okay, so you might take a look at that if that's you. Okay, if that resonated. Okay, so loving yourself. Okay. Now this came up to in other readings and uh, really. Being satisfied with who you are without any kind of adjustments, right? Like people, a lot of times they get cosmetic surgery and they're still not satisfied. Okay, so the key is to feel good from within no matter what is on the outside, right? And, um, and then that way... Um, so then they're showing me like, you know, then it's like they're never satisfied because, and they get this done and they get this done and they get this done because they haven't moved the energy within them. And that's very key here in coming together with your person. Okay. Now I feel like there's several people waiting for, for you all. Okay. And, uh, for some of you, one specifically, and they're just waiting on you. Okay, the charm of simplicity. Okay, when you get overwhelmed with all these thoughts, right, it's good to just bring it down to the basics. The birds and the bees. Go out in nature. Listen to music. Just relax, right? Be easy and, um, and free with yourself, right? Free yourself by feeding your crown uh, wonderful, graceful, beautiful things, right? Yeah, and that'll take you right into a bliss state. Okay. Twenty-one. Conceive, create, implement. Yeah, anytime your your head gets funky, you can get silent, get clear it all out, and then dream up new, right? Okay, conceive, create, implement. Air, okay, external events. New creative opportunities come up. 
You will meet like-minded people. Opportunities don't happen, you create them. That's like saying you create your own luck, right? That's wonderful. Okay, and I leave you with that. Capricorn and Sagittarius energy, thank you.